Hello, I hope you're all enjoying the summer holidays. It's a gorgeous day today, so I've come to somewhere that you might recognise in Barnes. Yes, it's the wetlands. The wetlands is one of my favourite places to come and just relax. It's so peaceful and quiet. And when I'm here and I see all the bulrushes, I'm reminded of one particular story in the Bible. Maybe you can guess which one I'm thinking of. That's right, the story of baby Moses. This story is taken from the book of Exodus and takes place at a time when the people of Israel were slaves to the king of Egypt. I'll read it to you now. The king gave a command to everyone in the nation. As soon as a Hebrew boy is born, throw him into the Nile River, but you can let the girls live. A man from the Levi tribe married a woman from the same tribe, and she later had a baby boy. He was a beautiful child, and she kept him hidden inside for three months. But when she could no longer keep him hidden, she made a basket out of reeds and covered it with tar. She put him in the basket and she placed it in the tall grass and bulrushes along the edge of the Nile River. The baby's older sister stood off at a distance to see what would happen to him. About that time, one of the king's daughters came down to have a bath in the river, while her servant woman walked along the river bank. She saw the basket in the tall grass, and she sent one of the young women to pull it out of the water. When the king's daughter opened the basket, she saw the baby, and she felt sorry for him because he was crying. She said, this must be one of the Hebrew babies. At once the baby's older sister came up and asked, do you want me to get a Hebrew woman to take care of the baby for you? Yes, the king's daughter answered. So the girl brought the baby's mother and the king's daughter told her, take care of this child and I'll pay you. The baby's mother carried him home and took care of him. And when he was old enough, she took him to the king's daughter who adopted him. She named him Moses because she said, I pulled him out of the water. Moses' mother must have loved him an awful lot to go to such extraordinary lengths to keep him safe in such a dangerous time. Every day your parents show you the same love. They do it in lots of different ways. They make you beautiful food, they do your washing. Recently, they've been homeschooling you. Can you think of any other things? This week, I'd like you to think particularly of what your parents do for you. And when they do something special, even if it's quite ordinary, I'd like you to say thank you. It's special to say thank you to our parents and it's special to remember what they do for us. So perhaps we could just bow our heads in prayer now to finish off. Father God, we pray for our parents and our families. Thank you, Lord, for our parents. They have nurtured us and provided for our needs throughout our lives. We are so grateful for their love, their attention, their guidance, their help, their understanding and their wisdom. Bless them today and always. Amen. Well, I hope to see you all soon. Goodbye.